everybody uh let's get right to it um happy uh juneteenth juneteenth passed we didn't get to talk about this um we were kind of a little late but you know still here at the party nonetheless um you know what's crazy is up until about three years ago i had no idea what juneteenth was yeah yeah i think everybody for a lot not everybody but a lot of people for the most part is You've just been taught Fourth of July Independence. That was that's what you were right. Talking. And even with um, when it comes to slavery, we were we were taught uh, Abe Lincoln freed the slave, or he signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which is supposed to free or in abolish slavery. But it wasn't until two years later because he signed that on January first, eighteen sixty three, and then. Yeah. June nineteenth, eighteen sixty five, I guess is when they started letting the slaves go. Yeah, it finally rolled over and they just said, All right, bye nigga. What we did to you was was fucked up, but we're not gonna apologize for it. We know we no. still get reparations, but nah, and we know we fucked you up psychologically, but have a nice life. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah. So 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 with with everything that's going on with um the quote unquote black renaissance revolution whatever you want to call it now everybody is speaking about Juneteenth and it's be become like a a pretty big thing which rightfully so it should be and it should be addressed but the the big topic at hand is should Juneteenth be a national paid holiday it should be. I mean, certain companies uh, did it. Certain companies did pay people and gave them off, like Google. But these are companies that people are already sitting at home. They're not coming back to work till next year anyway. Right. Uh, some major companies did, but at the, it, it should be just like nine eleven. You can make the same argument should be a national holiday, but because it's so close to a major holiday, like nine eleven is close to Labor Day. Juneteenth right. is only what three weeks or two weeks before Fourth of July, so it's real close. So. That's the only reason I, I would I think it should be, but they they usually don't like putting major holidays too close to each other unless it's like Christmas, New you know, New Year's. Right. That, they usually don't put two national holidays back to back like that. But there is there well, there's no real other major holiday in June though, right? No, Pretty- not June, but I mean it'd be so you're, yeah, you're right, June that's, that's June nineteenth, but then you'll have another major one on the fourth. Right, At two three weeks. Usually they just don't do. They'll come up with some bullshit. Usually they just don't do holidays like that close together. But it should be a national holiday. Well, Congress, should huh? Should have always been. Yeah, yeah, I I agree so too. But like, it hasn't been. Um, people, a lot of people didn't know about it, and which is understandable because, like I said, the you went to public school especially in america it's not like they spoke on that and if they did they brushed over it because not too many of us knew about it and you know it's understandable but now it's become the thing so the last time congress has passed um a national uh holiday was um 1983 and that was uh martin luther king jr's birthday and some states didn't acknowledge it at the time like arizona and a few other states Oh, oh yeah. Even if you did know, if you went to your African American Studies program or whatever, you could read the date and it'll tell you, okay, June nineteenth, eighteen sixty-five. But we just never, we just right. didn't remember. like we always knew the date. You know, I mean, you could always look at the date, and but we just never, for some reason, we never because we was programmed Independence Fourth of July Independence yeah. Day. So it's just really just programming because it was always there. If you knew your history, you always could look and see that specific date. And then no one ever really said, hey, like, why are we not celebrating that instead? And we doing this red, white, and blue shit. And we were right. still enslaved when 4th of July was established. You know what's <laughs> funny? The, yeah, it, uh, that too. And what was so funny about the whole thing is, so Texas was one of the last states to um, give their slaves freedom, right? Mm-hmm. And they're there are several states that recognize it as a holiday. I think all but four states recognize it as a holiday. But in 1980, Texas was the first state to make it a state paid holiday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) As crazy as that is, Texas being the last one to release the slaves, but the first one to be like, yo, uh, take the day off, everybody gets paid. 
That's the least they could do, yeah. Yeah. Um, Virginia uh, made it a, pay, a paid state holiday. Portland, Oregon made it a paid holiday for city employees. And Governor Cuomo, um, who's the governor of New York, signed an executive order that made it a paid holiday for all state employees. June 19th? Yep. Okay. And this and that and that all came into play this year. So, you know, with with all of the big companies that um, acknowledged it and made it um, a holiday. We don't know. I don't I'm not sure if a lot of the other companies made it paid holidays, but the big talk is. Making it a national holiday all the way across the board, because, as you said, it should it is something that needs to be recognized. Oh yeah, it should have always been recognized from the dump, from the jump. As I say, it was just a program, and you just never really put one and two together. It's like, why the fuck are we celebrating their independence and buying fireworks and why and all this red, white, and blue shit? And yeah, why, why, why are we doing that? And there's a lot of black people already saying that they're not doing it this year. Keep an eye out on the people who said that because a lot of them may be right out here shooting and popping fireworks. Oh yeah, they'll yeah, be they, like look like Joel Santana. Wrapped up in the goddamn American flag yeah. outfit and shit. Fucking. <laughs> that was a wild all outfit. The, all the food out the grocery store. All the yeah. Bed, all of that. You know what I mean? We the same nigga. So it'd be like, they just, in the heat of the moment, it just sounds good to some of them. But I mean, mm-hmm. I don't have a problem with somebody celebrating both. I mean, if you want to, if you just, you've been programmed and conditioned. If you're 40 years old, you've been conditioned your whole 40 years of living here. Fourth of July, just like Christmas. Thanksgiving, New Year's. If you want to keep doing that and then you still acknowledge June, you know, whatever. Right, because you can do both. Yeah, some people do Christmas and then they do Hanukkah. Some people do both. Yeah, yeah, they do. And and rightfully so, um, America should acknowledge because now all of a sudden it's like something happened with, you know, with everything going on. Like all of these companies all of a sudden was like, oh shit, they're fucking up black people out here. And now everybody wants to jump on quote unquote the bandwagon. Do you are you do you think it's a little too late or better late than never? That's a good question. A little bit of both. Uh it's better late than never. You know, it took y'all what 250 years to fucking acknowledge it. But uh yeah, it is I just think the time in it should have been based off of them just saying, hey, this is wrong. We should have been acknowledged. It took George Floyd and all of this shit for the people to realize that. Like that's the sad part. It took all this protesting and all of this shit for y'all. But this goes with the quarantine theme. All all together. We're all in this together. So we all in this yeah. together. Fucking do it. Yeah, so. So I, I personally want people to keep that same energy after the quarantine is over, if it's ever over and lifted and we're back out in society as a whole. I just want people to keep that same energy because Right now, it seems like it's trendy, and I want people to prove to me, you know, and not that they have anything to prove to me, and I'm not asking nobody to prove to me personally, but I just want to see people with the same energy afterwards. Because yeah, yeah. right now, it's trendy. Everybody wants to support Black Lives, and everybody wants to, you know, acknowledge Juneteenth. Like, I just don't want this to stop. Yeah, because if it's based off momentum, then it's not going to, it's not going to, not gonna mean anything come this time next year and after that. Right. After, yeah, it's gotta that's gotta have some meaning to it. It has meaning to it, but do people really acknowledge it for that? Or you just wanna like I say, this is the hot thing to do at the moment. Yep. Because um